What is going on everybody, Estas here, welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to be talking about Netflix stock and whether or not I personally think it's going to recover after the massive drop that we saw after market hours yesterday, after market hours when they reported their earnings. So we're going to take a look at their earnings here, we're going to break down the chart and we're going to pull up an article here that I do have that shows a catalyst that talks about a catalyst that I personally think dropped Netflix. Netflix stock very, very heavily, and a lot of other people can agree with that as well. And we're also going to be taking a look at some other stocks and ETFs very quickly that I'm personally watching right now in the middle of July and off to the rest of July in the month of 2019, or rather in the year of 2019. So if you enjoy this video, feel free to go down below and hit that like button. Let me know down below in the comment section what do you guys think about Netflix, and consider subscribing if you do want to see further content from me. So Netflix stock guys, we all know at this point they've been facing a lot of upcoming competition. The streaming service market, that whole segment, that whole area of business, it's been Netflix's pretty much predominantly ran by Netflix. Of course, there have been other players like Hulu, but it's mostly been Netflix. And that is why the stock long-term now, if we'll take a look at the 20-year chart, you know, this stock absolutely exploded in the year 2010, 2011, 2012, all the way up to that peak of 423. And notice now, over the past year, this stock has actually not been doing much, right? Obviously, it dropped to 231 and it recovered that was an amazing amazing recovery but just over the past year you know as we've been getting a lot of new competition coming up with Disney AT&T Apple all of these companies they're coming out with streaming services Netflix stock has kind of been tapering off and kind of plateauing and over the past six months specifically you know it's been trading between 340 and 380 really having trouble breaking out back into those highs of about $420 430 whatever it was despite the markets really killing it and hitting all-time highs right you know Netflix has just been really struggling and in my opinion and you know, you know again this is a lot due to the upcoming competition over over these next couple of months that the streaming service market is going to start bringing again with Apple, AT&T, Disney, um, you know, those are pretty much the main three. So, you know, overall, that is what, you know, the market, in my opinion, the sentiment right now around Netflix consists of. And if we go to the live news very quickly to talk about their earnings yesterday, Based off of what I'm seeing here on Think or Swim, EPS beats 60 cents versus. 56 cents estimate. That's where that 6% beat came in that I talked about in yesterday's video. And you guys can see their sales actually missed. Um, you know, they were expected to be 4.93 billion. They came in at 4.2 or 4.923 billion. So it was a very slight miss, but nonetheless, it was a miss. But this is not what ended up causing um, this massive stock drop, uh, price drop in net. Netflix. Let's go over here to my Safari tab very quickly. We'll talk about this very quickly, then we'll take a look at the chart, break it down, and then we'll talk about some other stocks and ETFs that I'm personally watching. So you guys can see the headline of this article, Netflix stock drops more than 10% as earnings show huge decline in new subscribers, guys. This is what ended up tanking the stock. Netflix attracts 2.7 new paying customers at almost Almost half its forecast and nearly one third the previous quarter's edition. Let me re say that Netflix attracts 2.7 million new paying customers, almost half its forecast, and nearly one third the previous quarter's edition, guys. So they're doing terrible right now in terms of this previous earnings report in terms of subscribers, guys. You guys can see it again here. Reported 2.7 million, yada, yada, yada. Analysts were looking for global paid streaming subscribers editions of 5.3 million on domestic editions of 350,000 and 4.8 million internationally, guys. And a lot of this, in my opinion, maybe people are 
waiting for these new streaming services that are coming out. Maybe they want not to pay $15 a month for Netflix. Maybe they want to put their $7, $8, $9 to work per month in Apple and Disney to try out those. You know, those could be, or really that could be a pretty interesting um, you know, reason for this, right? And a lot of people have been saying, and you guys can see it in this article right now if I do find it, but Netflix has been lacking a lot of um, original content in the previous quarter. And now that Stranger Things, and what was the other one? I believe um, uh, the, the, the prison show, Orange, uh, I forget what it's called. We could probably see it here. But a lot of these are starting to roll out in this quarter and right now. Oh, here it is, guys. Stranger things new episode of the crown the final season of orange is the new black this could end up pumping up um you know new subscribers people that want to see these particular shows because they are some of the more um popular shows on netflix so this could really end up helping netflix in this upcoming quarter but people were saying you know analysts and people in the management were saying you know lack of the previous quarter's original content you know this could have really held back netflix Netflix. So that is really the reason, guys, at this point, you know, the, the paid subscribers, um, you know, they pretty much cut in half. That's a massive reason. And then once the market saw this, once people saw this, what happened to the stock, guys? You guys saw my live reaction in yesterday's video. It went from 370 at the close nearly, or rather, I guess you could say 363, 362.44 to be exact. And it hit lows of $314, guys. That is quite the haircut in the matter of 30 minutes, right, after an earnings report, that was a 14% haircut in Netflix's stock. And you guys can see since then, you know, we've been consolidating at around 315, 320, with highs at about 325. And it does seem like we're slowly riding that 180 SMA recovering here, but we haven't really seen a quite, um, you know, quite a drastic move in either direction. Again, just pretty much pure consolidation consolidation at this point for Netflix. So if we go out um, very quickly here, um, not live news. Let me go to, let's say, the 184-hour chart. We could take a look at some quick support levels that Netflix does seem to be holding above right now. So let me get my handy-dandy support resistance tool out, which is simply this little money sign on top of the line, right? And you guys can see if I draw one out from this particular time period, and I, get, I bet you you can see it better on the one year, one day. Let me quickly change it to that. You know, you guys can see Netflix right now after the big gap down the drop is actually holding above this old level of resistance now a new support at around 315 to about $320 you guys can see it right here this was actually back in November before the whole market collapsed pretty much down 20% and Netflix felt that as well you guys can see before that happened we topped at about 320 and then we dumped all the way to about 230 and that makes this 320 level because it was a resistance at that point in time. We broke out of it a couple of months later. That makes this level a support right now. So I think if Netflix does end up recovering, you know, it needs to hold this level, which it does seem like it's doing right now. This is going to be the first step in Netflix's recovery, holding this spot. The next spot, as you guys can cl clearly see, because we've actually been trading between this channel for the past couple of months is going to be starting at $340. $340 up to $380. We've been trading in there since the beginning of 2019, guys. No joke. Take a look. You know, from 2019, January, all the way till now, pretty much yesterday in the middle of July 2019, that's almost seven months, you know, that's when we broke the channel. And now that we're holding 320, you know, now we're going to need to test this next resistance, which which is 340, and then rehold that as a new support before potentially filling back up to $380. So overall now, guys, Netflix is a falling knife. Who knows how this earnings, how this negative subscriber count, um, very negative subscriber count at that, how that's going to affect the company here in the next couple of days. Obviously, only time will tell. 
So, you know, if that does end up recovering, you know, let's say this news dwindles off, it doesn't really affect the stock much past this initial drop. You know, take a look at these two levels, make sure we start to break back into 340, and then we can be recovering from there. But as of now, since we aren't above 340 yet, a potential trade, a bounce back trade could be from 315, 320-ish, back up to 340, and that is if we continue this little um, recovery pattern that we've been on and if we see a sudden spike or rather just a continuation here of higher highs and higher lows you know pretty much that we've been seeing in the pre-market session so far today on the 18th of July which is the day after this drastic earnings report for those of you all watching this if you're watching this in the future from now so Netflix stock guys I do think there is a potential bounce back play here, but as Apple, as AT&T, you know, as, um, uh, Disney, as they start to roll out their streaming services, this could have additional pressure on Netflix. So from my perspective, on an investing perspective, there's absolutely no way that I would invest in Netflix right now, starting a fresh new position. If I'm already in from the $100 level, the $150, $200, maybe I'm still holding Netflix right now, but starting a fresh position, you know, with this bad earnings report that we pretty much got, with the bad subscriber count, and with the upcoming headwind of new subscribe or rather new competition from the ones we spoke about you know these are just a lot of negatives right now in my opinion to start a new fresh position on um, Netflix and do I think Netflix is going to crumble absolutely not guys I think Netflix is still going to have a strong market share but the thing is guys a lot of their market share is going to start dwindling away which does scare me a bit so Netflix stock that is one that I'm definitely watching today and honestly for the rest of this week and the rest of this month speaking of some other ETFs that I'm watching very quickly gold at this point in time, gold is actually at a resistance from the past couple of weeks right now, actually from the past couple, or rather the past month, at about uh, 1430 to about 1425. You can clearly see, based on this trend line, this is a resistance. So at this point, you can see gold's getting rejected. We can maybe play JDST today, which goes up whenever gold is selling off. Gold at this point has been rallying pretty heavily just in the past couple of days. If we go to the five day, five minute, you guys can see really since yesterday, actually, that's wrong. Since yesterday, it's been rallying. It had a massive 30 point push, actually. So now if it does pull back and it's already pulling back, you know, maybe we could play JDST if it pulls back a bit more. But most importantly, you know, if it continues this rally and we'll really see that and confirm that if it breaks out of this green line here on the uh, five day, five minute, which is the 50 SMA, you know, if it breaks out of that, if the candlesticks break break above that's going to be a very bullish move and from there we could actually end up trading JNUG which goes up whenever uh, gold is going up so watch for that break JNUG has been very hot it's honestly cooled off a bit here in the morning because gold's pulling back so this actually has a bit of margin here so watch for that you know crude oil right now is doing something interesting guys take a look on the 184 hour chart very very quickly here you can see this yellow line the 180 SMA, this has been a spot where crude oil is actually held above in the past. You can see it here back in the beginning of July, and again right now, it seems like we are consolidating on top of that yellow line, the 180 SMA, as a support yet again. So the fact that crude oil has been beaten down, it went from 60 down to where it is right now in the matter of a couple of days, this could be a bounce back play here, and we can really solidify um, that bounce back play. We can confirm it if crude oil ends up breaking out of the 50 SMA on the 20 day one hour chart which is very important why um, a reason why you should be looking at multiple time frames because let's say the 20 day one hour let's say it breaks above the 50 SMA that's going to be a very bullish move and then if we go back to the 180 SMA at that point if, the, if that happens you know the 180 SMA is going to be showing a bounce on the 180 SMA or rather the 184 hour chart is 
going to be showing a bounce on that 180 SMA, and that's going to be very good. And from there, if we break above 58, we could fill the gap up to 60. And UWT, again, which goes up whenever crude oil is going up, this is going to be one to keep an eye out for. So I don't want this video to be too long, guys. That's pretty much it. Gold and crude oil, I'm watching those. But most importantly, this video was focused mostly on Netflix. So if Netflix... You know, let's say Netflix keeps dropping here on a side note. This could actually drop the NASDAQ, right? The NASDAQ's red right now. It was red. Um, you know, it actually got worse when um, Netflix reported their earnings yesterday, and you guys might be able to see that on the five-day, five-minute. But anyway, I'm watching Netflix, and I'm watching to see how it, um, you know, affects the NASDAQ, which is a tech-heavy index. So Netflix, crude oil, Gold, JNUG, JDST, UWD, uh, UWT, and DWT, those are ones I'm watching. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to go down below, hit that like button. Let me know down below in the comment section, what do you think about Netflix stock? I would love to know. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Join our Discord community, our Facebook group. Follow me on Instagram. All of those are linked down below. I appreciate all you guys watching. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.